Hey guys, I hope you're doing good. I'm down in Santa Cruz on the beach this weekend with this guy. And if you checked out his vlog a couple of days ago, you'd see that we went to the secret garden in San Francisco and found some bees hanging out in the flowers. If you didn't see it, check out this clip. There we go, little bee man. He's doing his thing. He's yeah. one of nature's bad boys. Yes, bee man. Do not mistake bees for like mozzies, which no. are the scum of the earth. Bees, these yeah. guys are the one. Bees are cool, bro. Bees are cool. Bro, you make that honey. You pollinate those flowers. You do that. You know flowers wouldn't be around if it wasn't for bees, because they pollinate them all. They're the bad men. Earlier we went out to try and grab some coffee and some food, and we bumped into a couple of guys from Greenpeace who told us a bunch more about bees. So we had a little conversation with them, and I wanted to show you it right now, so check it out. What is it about bees that makes them cool? So bees are really freaking cool. One, they're fuzzy and adorable, but two, they actually make two-thirds of our food possible. Wow. And since we like food, we need food to survive. Obviously, we have to protect our honeybees, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, but unfortunately, we've lost 80% of them on the entire planet. Jeez. Yes. Why? Yeah. Exactly. Primarily due to nicotine-based pesticides. Now, there are a lot of concerns that actually are killing the honeybees, but apex concern are nicotine-based pesticides. Pesticides. Obviously, nicotine's bad for us. It's going to be bad for everything on this planet. We're all carbon-based life forms. However, about a year and a half ago, in all of Europe and Russia, we actually banned three of these pesticides, and in less than one year, we saw up to 40% of the honeybees come back. Wow. And so, is this a big part of what Greenpeace does, or...? As far as agriculturally speaking, it is the number one concern for us on the planet right now. Wow. Now, if we're talking about worldwide, we're talking about other countries banning GMOs, uh, GM, um, and going more towards a bio or organic produce, then we're talking about people actually taking care of their livelihood. Mm -hmm. uh, because GMOs are a failed model. They produce pesticide-resistant weeds, pesticide-resistant insects, so that way you can spray as much as you want on it, but these things will still crop up and reduce volume that you are actually able to output from an organic farm or from any farm. And these foods are not fit for human consumptions because these pesticides are water-soluble. They get into the root, they get into the stalk, they get into the fruit or vegetable, and then when we consume them, they stay in our system. Now, food boards say that there's a sec an acceptable level of pesticides that can show up in our system, but there is no acceptable level. Okay. Uh, there was a study done in Sweden where they took a family who primarily shopped GM products and took their urine sample on a regular basis and it actually showed the pesticides showing up in their system. They switched to an organic diet in less than two weeks. It's completely gone out of their system. Wow, okay. So it's never too late. We just have to switch to organic, but because we have so few of our honeybees, we can't really do that until we protect them. All right. So I don't know about you, but I found it kind of surprising and inspiring how influential these little guys are just flying around from flower to flower. And kind of crazy, to be honest, that 80% of them have been killed out within the last 10 years, but that they're linked to two thirds of all of our food production. I didn't know that stuff before. In fact, I never really thought about bees before. But sometimes stuff comes your way and you have to do something and respond to that new knowledge that you have. So if you feel inspired by the work that these Greenpeace guys are doing and want to do something to respond to what you've just heard, if it's hit you for the first time, then why don't you Givey share this video, which means take the link, stick it in Givey, make a donation of any size to Greenpeace, but then share that with your friends so then they have a chance to hear this stuff, possibly for the first time as well. If you get stuck at all, just comment below and I'll try and help you out. Um, but I hope something meant something to you in this video and I look forward to seeing you soon. All right, take care. I wonder how close we can get away with it without it being weird. It was too weird. Blah, 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 blah. Can they see the toothpaste on my shirt? No. Okay, good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> take a check out of my shut up, I'm really fussy. <laughs> I'm not fussy, bro. Press record.